Okay, let's do it harder. <laughs> hey, we're gonna wash out the cave today. Like a big, dirty hole full of years of sludge and buildup. And we need to flush it out. Flush out the dirt out of the gross hole. Enema of the hole. Yeah, it was getting low and I moved it and I guess the filter came out and sucked air. I need a way bigger water tank. This is 150 gallons and that's 500. Crap. Just do this pond upright. I agree, but we should have thought of that a week ago. Yeah. Switching it up. We were going in the cave today. We were going to wash it all out, but we didn't realize how gross this pond was. I don't even want to get in that water, much less spray it around the cave and be breathing that mist. I've been kind of wanting to build a secondary storage tank out here anyway, which we have one at uh, our shooting range and one that's like up high. So it pumps water up high, fills up our secondary storage tank. So if we have a fire, we can put it out with this, but if there's still more water needed, we just back the trailer up. We open up the second storage tank, it just gravity feeds straight into this, fills it up really fast. I think we need to build that today because that will make it way easier for us to fill up a bunch of times to clean the cave and we'll be filling up with fresh water, not the pond water. All right, giddy up partners, let's go home. Sorry, Mikey, I know you wanted to get really muddy today. I did. This is our little, what you call this? Pavilion? A pavilion? Yeah, yeah, we just made a little roof. It collects water, it drains down through the gutters and then into the pipe and into this tank. Problem is, we keep burning up these little pumps. Uh, they get rained on and so we haven't been able to, it like never works. So we just drained it and I'm gonna, we're gonna take it out there. It's gonna be great. We also have solar panels and lights and stuff. This thing's been awesome, a little off-grid pavilion. But we don't even really need water that much. We did it for like in case we had any fires out here. But now that we have the other range at the resort, whenever we're doing anything that involves fire, we do it out there because it's way more open with less trees. I don't know where my hacksaw is, so I'm using this. Oh, oh that is terrible. You sound terrible. <laughs> Does that make you cringe? A little bit. A hacksaw would have been much better, but it worked. It worked. <laughs> Okay, now all we need to do is lift this into the bed of that truck, which is really high. He's so strong. You're doing great. You're doing a really good job. <laughs> Still going. Lift it higher. Put your back into it. Ah! Where are you at? Where are you wait, at? Wait, wait, wait. Don't set it on there. It's going to break it. I'll break it. Either. That's actually really good, though. Keep <laughs> Oh, this water's gross. All right, you're empty. You're empty. Your mom's empty. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh you're losing it. <laughs> <laughs> just goes, oh, no. boom. Okay, where's the lid go? Right here. Perfect. Yeah. Easy as that. I'll stay back here to make sure it doesn't fall out. <laughs> Get down. She closed that valve. Yeah, it's it's full. Mm -hmm. Totally full of water, guys. You brought a spider with you. I know. You brought a bunch. Oh, you just killed it. I did? Yeah. Perfect. It's full. This saw wasn't gonna work for our six by sixes, and all the other chainsaws wouldn't start except for this pole saw. So we're gonna cut these with a pole saw. It's a two-man operation. Go that way. Uh, go that way here. All right, hit it. Man. That was pretty good. That worked out pretty well. I just somebody doubted us. What? 
I bet you somebody doubted us. I definitely did. I bet someone thought that was going to bounce up and hit me in the face. I for sure I did. That was me. <laughs> I thought it might have been. Just follow that line. It'll be the perfect cut. That's it. Actually, really impressed with how. Yeah, that's a good angle. Yeah, I like that angle. All right, we're gonna do those angles on every one. Um, started putting it all together. Couldn't figure out why it wasn't uh, level. I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it together, then I'll figure out why it's not level. But I mean, you can just look at it and see that, yeah, it's pretty wonky looking. And I was doing my best to keep it not wonky. Let's do some measurements. We measured each of the six by sixes to be five foot. That one's five foot. That one's five foot. That one's five foot. That one's five. Four ten. We're leaving even smaller than 410. How the heck did we cut one of them two inches shorter than all the others? That's real dumb. Dang it. I mean, you can just see that it's just dipping on that end right there. Yep. Mm. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's, that's why it wouldn't go square. That's your problem right there. It's okay. There's, it's not like there's going to be 4,500 pounds of water on this so we need it to be level or anything. That is what you call a stupid mistake. Luckily, we're so stupid that we accidentally bought six of these and I have no idea why. Mikey and I made a list and six of those ended up on it. And then we were like, why did we get six of those? I don't know, but we got two extra in case we chop one of them two inches too short. So uh, yeah, we're, we just gotta cut one of those to five foot, not 410. Yeah, hit it. We got, huh, five feet, <laughs> look at that. That'll make this look not so stupid. Hey guys, good morning. What do you like breakfast? Look, I have breakfast, it's gonna be so good. This little guy's the friendliest, besides Quattro, but he is going to be one that I think we'll actually be able to pet someday. This little dorky teenager over here is cute too. He's like, just going through puberty, so he looks like a nerd. But look at this cute little baby. Just lost her spots, his spots. I actually don't know, I think it's a boy. I'm not sure. There you go, buds. And Quattro's not here this morning. Not sure where he's at. And there's another doe that is super close. She'll come up to us, but she will never let us touch her. She's not here either. So we got a bunch of skittish does all in the outskirts, and then these two little guys who are slowly warming up to us. I mean, obviously this guy was born this year and he's already pretty chill. So I'm thinking he's gonna be a good one. You little nerdy spike. There's some more back there. We got breakfast for everybody. So he's about, about nine, 10 feet away from me right now. And very skittish, very nervous, very cute though. We do get a lot of people assuming that these are in a fenced area. They're not, this is all either low fenced or um, holy fence uh, surrounding this part of the property. So even the babies can go through in a bunch of places. So all totally wild and uh, Quattro just comes and graces us with his magnificent presence every so often with his giant freaking antlers. All right, I don't see Quattro this morning. He might be by later, we'll check later. Jenna, is that deer feed? That looks like a hamburger bun. No, we were gonna eat those for lunch. No. I think they got gluten. Yeah, those allergies. those deer have gluten allergies. No, they don't. Oh, he likes it.
Okay, so we're going to do crosses in the inside. So we didn't really know how to measure them. So we just put them up where we think they should go and try to draw on the inside. And I'm going to cut them and we'll see how good we did. I'm really good at nailing the measurements on the first time. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, Shoot. Wait, uh, no, it's the other way. Is it the other way? Hopefully, because that didn't fit at all. Hey, okay. hey, that's not, that's... Yeah, then we'll lop the ends off. We have bought, we have big bolts, like we're not just screwing this thing together. We're doing screws for now because, just so we can get all... Oh, actually, can we put a bolt through this? It's going to pull it in. God, these are 10? Yep. Who would have thought 10 inches was not enough? Yeah, 10 inches is not that big. <laughs> Everyone made fun of me when I came up with this idea. We wanted to get these boards crossing each other without having to cut them so they're still strong, but they were, I'm having to put it over a board. So I put a ratchet strap on it to hold it together. And guess what? Freaking worked. Worst case, we leave the ratchet strap in there forever. <laughs> I didn't bring a drill. The thing about this is don't look at any of the seams or the angles or any part of it. Or the welds. Oh, you're actually too close. Are you no, wide no, angle? That's right. no, no, no. I am He's wide angle. Close. Close. 24 millimeters, they, can't, they won't see a thing. Actually, yeah. David, go. You're still really wide. 30 feet. Yeah. 30 feet? Don't zoom in. Keep going. Close your eyes. Hey, man, it looks perfect from back here. Get a little drunk. Back, back it up. Back it up. How do we nail it so good? Look good over there, right? Looks great from back here. Are you zoomed out? All the way out. Yeah, you're like three. Three to four feet away from us. You're like right next to us. <laughs> Tim the tool man built this. Wait, no, Al built this, because Tim wasn't very good at holding the second. But he was funny. Oh, 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 oh. Hi Jenna. Hi. She's gonna talk crap again. Doesn't look any better. Jenna's been coming out here periodically and just talking smack <laughs> about Matt's work. We don't talk crap about when she gets us coffees. Nope. And when she makes, uh, makes, sandwiches. makes copies. Yep. I don't get them coffees. And copies. For the record. And sandwiches. Copies and coffees. And when we're like, Jenna, we need something copied. Because that's what she does around here is coffee and copies. Yep. And sandwiches. And, yep. and brings the haterade. Yeah. She brings us and then just, lots of haterade. Just, just talks down to us yeah. all day. Generally yeah, just like a bratty big sister would. You want me to do that? Mikey, the what spread. What is happening? <laughs> well, that's Look at this. What's up? I like it. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> we're going to now. How come you're pulling them together? Uh, you, this is a need to know basis and you don't need to know. But you know what? I need coffee. I'm not getting you coffee. <laughs> Jenna, do you remember? Hey, this is an A and B conversation. You need to see your way out of it. Yeah. Oh, you're such a bad. Make like a tree, Jenna. And get the out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even here? I work here. Oh. Not out here. You sound like the comment section. <laughs> yeah, what do you even do here? Why is Jenna always hanging around? I work here, guys. Look who it is! Check. Oh, no, wow! <laughs> Back! Back from whence you came! I'm just checking. It looks a little. Oh, oh. It looks a little better. My key! Pocket <laughs> sawdust! <laughs> Thanks! Thank you. It's pretty done. Like all the. All the hooking together, just fastening. It's not like actually hooked. We've got to get the big bolts. But this is this is it. Actually, we should do the top. 
and then we'll put all of, well, probably be easier without the top two, the big bolts. Okay, it's time for big bolts. We actually need to stress test this uh, with some heavy weight. Jenna, will you get on top? <laughs> Burn! You're so brave today, I can't handle it. <laughs> no, seriously, get up on top. Kill him, Jenna, no, kill him! we don't have all the bolts and screws in yet. Get him, Jenna, kill him! Just kidding, right. Jenna's the lightest one by far out of all of us. Drop yep, kicker. only 137 pounds. 127. Whatever. You were giving me so much crap last year <laughs> about one or two pounds. Really? You're going to be like, eh, you know, that's I've okay. accepted it. It okay. is what it is. She doesn't care anymore. No. Okay? She let herself go. And that's what? fine. <laughs> Wait, what were you trying to say? <laughs> Kids like stick their heads where they're not supposed to and sometimes get stuck. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. Get the butter. Open one. Oh, okay. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Ow! And he has Rich. less ears than he started the day with. Reset. <laughs> Look who's back. It's really sturdy. Back Look, it's again. Straight. It looks better than it did before. Jenna's back. Back again. Watch this. Like a rock. State Farm is there. Anyway, it's very sturdy. Uh, it weighs a million pounds, but it has to hold up two million pounds, so. Mikey! It actually has to hold up like two and a half tons. Because that's a 550 gallon tank, but it actually can fill higher, and we're gonna have some other like pipes and stuff. So it's gonna be nearly 5,000 pounds. Ugh, pull it. This thing Wait, onto so the water we, tower. Take it back up. Catch if it falls. There's nothing to hold on to. <laughs> See, it. you caught it. it. Hold on, it's not on anything. No, there it is. It is. Right, good. Hey. That's great. What, what if it just collapsed when you put this on there? <laughs> that is great. In what world did they think I wouldn't notice that? that I don't... That was what? That was what? You saw what? that? You're trying to mess up What are you talking tire? about? And How did that 100 pound piece of wood get down? It fell from the bed. And, and it, it just slid under my tire. And then we said, what was that noise? It was it bouncing. It bouncing, that, that's right. That's and crazy. Physics. You try catching it too. Physics, man. Physics. <laughs> now I gotta try and move that myself. <laughs> I forgot about the step. <laughs> we chickened out. We decided it was too tall. I'm not chickening out. I'm just I worried about catching a low, low hanging wire. Oh, uh, hold up, hold up. Don't let it fall. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, back it up. Yeah, we're good. Wait, will it fit on there? No. <laughs> no. I don't even think half of it's on. It's not. How much of it's on there? Enough to tie, honestly. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, half of it in the middle is on. Are you away from it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Y'all are silly gooses. Not, don't doubt me. Just y'all sitting here having a conversation for an hour about it. We might as well just do the other thing. I am the Lord's silliest goose. You are. He gives. That's why he gives you his hardest battles. <laughs> yeah, dude. Mikey, it looks like you keep grass in there. I do. For the ladies. Yeah. You're so strong. So strong. Boy. Hey, you think we should uh, stress test this baby? No, I'm actually afraid of it kind of tweaking, so I think we should be extra gentle with it. Okay. It freaking works! It's upside down, the water is never going to work like that. Load it back up, do it again. <laughs> I think it's solid. solid. <laughs> Slow stop. This is awesome. 
That, I mean, that's half of the work done. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Last time we were out here, we did not have a water tower. Nope. And theoretically, we still don't have a water... I mean, we have a water tower. It's just, there's no water on the water tower. But, but soon... <laughs> man, 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 man. I can't wait till I have high school kids that climb up this and paint their name on the water tower. Yeah, dude. You know? <laughs> like Jimmy loves Mary. Jimmy loves Mary right there. Yeah. Or Ginny will you marry me? Just small town things, you wouldn't yeah, understand. You wouldn't understand. Me or them? Them. See? You already don't understand. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Dude. Man, everything down there looks like ants. I just want to get out of here, man. Yeah, can't wait to leave this town. One more semester and I'm out of here. I'm never coming back. But as long as I have you, ah! I'll always be happy. Be ah! ah! <laughs> 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 Got it. Wait, why do you think this one? Isn't that what we're doing? They're gonna take it off over here. Pipe wrenches are not real. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking this all through in my mind, and I was just cutting little pieces. Uh, the plan is to come from our well, which is right there, go through that metal pipe, and then we're going to turn into PVC pipe to come over here. Now we need water to get in the tank, which we're going to fill from the bottom. This will fill it. Uh, that's how we filled it uh, before, even with just gravity, it filled it all the way up from the bottom. So this is going to be actually using the well pressure to fill it up. And then we need to go... I want it to overflow. So I want to be able to leave that on and this thing fills up and then when it gets full, it starts dumping into our stock pond over here. So I have a contraption that I'm doing to do that. But then we also need another T and a valve to come off for filling our trailer. And then we need another valve and a T just as at the lowest spots so we can drain the whole system for winter. When it gets cold in the winter, all these pipes will burst um, when they freeze. So we got to make sure to empty them so there's not water in them. I think I've figured out everything. So I'm going to start actually hooking pipes together, and uh, usually that's when you find out what you forgot. We actually did already forget some pieces. Mikey just ran to the hardware store to grab a few extra things like the, uh, the reducer, because we didn't have a way to get the one and a quarter inch pipe to two inch pipe. Turns out you need that. thinking man this is some riveting content <laughs> I know definitely going viral with this video this is when you know that Matt actually is just working and doesn't care about getting views I just want a water tower <laughs> yeah we're not gonna not film it I just need this water tower it'll be so cool this is my overflow so water comes up through here fills up the tank and this thing will fill up with the level of the tank as it goes up that turns before the top of the tank so the water will start pouring out here, go back down, run straight there. So the tank will fill up to the top and then it'll overflow out this before it ever comes out the top, in theory. Physics. Physics! Mikey's back. I think we have everything we need now. We'll find out what we're missing in just a second. Cup trick. Oh. See the other pipe start turning? Means you're tight enough. I don't think it'll ever turn, because right? Cause it, it did a second ago when we were turning it. But I don't know, this is like pl plastic right. metal. That's what I mean. Like, if you're turning the other one, it means you're about to break the plastic one. T, valve. That's all I know. I love watching y'all work. It's like I'm a documentary filmmaker, like in the wilderness. Oh, oh. Get it straight. Is that straight? Like, well, that's not this stuff. as straight as Dave. Just touch the stuff. It looks pretty good. Nice. If we spill these, we're screwed. We only have three more connections to make. Two more. That's it. Nice. Last one. Amazing content. <laughs> Just see what Demolition Ranch is up to? He was gluing pipes the other day. It was crazy. Laying the pipe. All right, go. Yeah. Wow, did you get that shot? I did. It was right here. Oh, nice. On the thing right there. Play, play it back. Play it back. Yep. All right, we are done. Oh, no, we're not. Uh, we didn't put the valve on that. Shit. So, <laughs> there's a, imagine there's started, a big hole. <laughs> it started going. <laughs> all right, we are going to turn it on. Listen, these pipes are all dangly. We're going to put stuff under them eventually. I'm worried about all the... Duh, you were right. 
Man, now we gotta put a valve there. So there's too much pressure and it's shooting. Oh, I know this is closed. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> All right, so now it should start filling this up. And I hear it. Yep. And that should stop in a second. <laughs> That's a big womp womp. It is filling up though. No, that's just noise. Oh, it's slowing down. I mean, all we gotta do to do, fix that is put a valve there. I just thought it would fill up more. This works on my rainwater catchment system, but that is way less pressure than it's a no pressure. pump. The pressure is defeating oh. gravity. Oh, I just stopped. <laughs> We're good. There's a pressure tank in there. So when we first open it, it gives a huge boost of pressure. Now it's just the well, which is way less pressure. So now it's filling up and that's how it will run most of the time. So. Yeah, I think we're good. I was really like, man, we're gonna have to redo this whole thing, but now it's not flowing at all out of there. Good to go. So now we're filling this tank up. We'll see how long it takes. And then we will uh, see if the overflow works as intended. This thing, if I open it right now, it would shoot water out. So we're gonna get something to hook onto here that we can hook a hose to, to fill our water tanks. And then at any time, you can come up here, turn this and have two inches, which is a lot hmm. of water coming out. Becky, that doesn't look very safe. Well. Matt said we need to make sure to put the lid on here before we put the tank on the stand. This Dude, is true. I was there when they said it. Look at how much this thing's leaning. It's like, we need to support that ASAP. That needs to be up like that. Because if this breaks off, all for naught. Okay, this might be a fail. We may have to actually fill from the top. You can fill from the bottom, but it is way slower. So we might need to make this fill from the top. So check this out. It's been running for 30 minutes. We only have... <laughs> about 100 gallons in there and it's filling I can hear it. It's just so slow, but would it be any faster from the top? I don't know. I mean, it's There is a tiny drip coming out of that. It's weird. I don't know. We're gonna let it fill overnight and we'll see I didn't think it'd fill in 30 minutes because I know it's it's just a well pump There's no booster pump or anything. I thought it'd be more full than 100 gallons in 30 minutes. That's that's a pretty bad well so something Something's going on, but watch, if I turn this off, now that is off, the tank is off, it's gonna start filling this and it'll overflow. So now it's overflowing, it's bypassing our tank and that's how much water is actually coming out of our well right there. I think that would fill up more. So if I do this, now it's open again, it should stop going that way and start going into here, but it doesn't, it's siphoning. Look how much more water is coming out now. It's sucking it out of this, that is emptying our tank. Oh my gosh, did not see that coming. It's totally siphoning out. Yep, that slowed it down when I turned that valve. Oh, this is a complete fail. Okay, yeah, this all needs to be reworked. That system worked fine on my rainwater catchment, but it does not work with a pump. Bummer, dude. How do we get it to not siphon? That's so weird, I mean, it's just, because of that pipe is full and it's pulling water that way, it's suctioning water out of the tank and it would totally drain that whole tank. And then it'd probably start filling up again. It's just, yeah, you don't want something that can just totally suck your tank down like that. I was pretty confident at the start of this. I, Matt Garricker, was wrong. You know what we got now. You know what we need. What's a better way to make it work? Cause this, this ain't it. I just realized why it may have already actually not been full. Uh, when it reaches the top, when it fills all the way up and it starts going through overflow, that's when it will start siphoning. So it's like a little thing that just raises and lowers. It's gonna fill all the way up, start overflowing, which will just start pulling all the water out and will siphon all the way down until this thing sucks air in here and then the siphon will be broken and then it can start filling up again. So it's gonna go fill up, dump, fill up, dump, fill up, dump. I thought it would just fill up and stay full. Man, what a wild ride. Did not see this coming at all. Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. Definitely needs a readjustment. <laughs> a major, a major overhaul. Thanks for watching. Matt, spend all day messing stuff up. Come back tomorrow, I'll probably do the same thing. I love you. I'll see you next time. Adding a little update to the end of this video to say that unfortunately we are canceling Beer Fest. Well, postponing Beer Fest. We were not able to nail down a band and I'm learning as I go. Obviously, I'm not an event planner. I'm not good at event planning. This is our third event we were trying to do out here. What I learned on this one is that we should have booked a band way more in advance. The bands are booking for their 2025 year. They're not caring about three weeks from now. They already got that figured out. And so we just couldn't lock anyone down as hard as we tried. Everything was just falling through for one reason or another. So we decided to just go ahead and postpone it. So if those of you who did buy tickets, we are refunding all of your money. Um, and check your email. I, uh, I sent you something. Um, so 
sorry to those who are excited about this and thank you guys for supporting. We will do it again. I just wanna make sure it is awesome and you guys have the best day of your life out here. So soon, Beer Fest, we will announce uh, as soon as we can actually lock down somebody. Um, now we have a little more time to hopefully get really good bands, musicians out here. I want someone awesome and it's gonna be good. Anyway, I'm bummed, but this whole video is just a big bummer now that I think about it. It's fine. That means we can only go up from here, right? That's what I'll tell myself. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I love you. And I'll see you next time. And if you book, go check your email. Oh. I'm on fire! Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare. Oh, yeah!